Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Anyways, as you saw in that previous clip, I just got a new duckbill. And of course, I had to go with carbon fibre, carbon fiber, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. And the reason why I got this is because one is badass. It looks nice. I guess that's two reasons. And the third is because my OEM one fell off. I don't know how, but it just did. So let's get right into this video. It should be a pretty simple install. Hopefully 30 minutes, maybe an hour max. We'll see how it goes though. Hopefully I don't run into any problems. So let's get started and I'm gonna talk on, on the way through this journey, through this install, I'll talk about what you need to do and what you should not be doing. See you guys later, peace. Subscribe if you have it. Thank you, peace. And there you have it, it's done. No, I'm just kidding. This is just the placement or I guess I just set it down real quick so that way I could show you guys. If you look carefully, it's a wet carbon fiber instead of the dry one. And this shit actually looks really good. When I first got it, I didn't think it was going to be this nice because it is an eBay brand. Meaning it's not brand name. If you're one of those brand junkies, then sorry, this is not for you. But this shit was under 200 bucks. Looks really nice. I think it looks really nice. You guys drop a comment below and tell me. So the package is pretty simple. It comes with the duck bill itself. Oh shit, see? I told you it's not on yet. It comes with the duck bill and double-sided 3M tape. So this is 3M tape only. It's not bolt-ons. But for some reason, there are holes down here. I'm assuming you can bolt it on if you want to, but I'm just going to 3M it. So like I said, this shit broke off. My original one. And not only is this thing badass, but supposedly the aftermarket carbon fiber one that i'm holding right now could just go right on top of your oem one like this so if you do have your oem one still don't worry you don't need to take it off you can just throw this right on there so first step is to clean your trunk or clean wherever it's going to be touching with the 3m so i'm just, oh shit i'm just gonna clean the whole trunk and then we'll get started let's go okay check it everything's clean now at least the part that needs to be touched up as you can tell this is still dirty right there but this is nice and clean so the next step i will recommend is that now you want to see where on the duct though or the contact point most likely it's just going to be along the edge right here and on this side right here so just check it out lay it down the way to make sure that it's perfectly centered is that if you have your backup camera then just make sure it's in the middle like that. I think right here, it right here is a little bit lower, but I think this is okay. I could probably push it up a little bit, but I don't think I would recommend that because it feels like kind of unstable up there. So just kind of naturally let it drop and it will hold up. This might be blocking the camera view on the inside of the car. So we'll check that out later when we get to that. But for now, it looks pretty decent. Let's get this going. It's time to line up the 3M tape now. All right, check it. We're inside the house now because I needed to lay my duck belt on something soft. The garage was all cement and concrete, so I didn't want to lay down there. So very simple. You can just lay it down across here, the 3M tape. You could do a full strip across, I guess, and then another strip across up here if you want, or just one whole strip all the way around. It doesn't matter. I might just do two strips to make it easy on myself. Let's go. So here's your 3M tape. One side has the red part or the red plastic because that's the side that's gonna stick onto the card. You wanna pop this off or peel it back. This gray piece is a sticky piece. So just keep the red plastic on, pull it back like this. Lay it down on your duck bill and then cut it off. Let me show you when it's done. All right, peep it out, check it out. It's still hanging because I need to cut it off. So what I did was I started from here, I stretched it about here, push it down to lock it, keep going, lock it, keep going, lock it throughout the whole duck bill. Once I cut it off, I'll go back and apply a complete pressure on the whole thing. Same thing is going to be going up here too. Same concept up at the top. I'll show you guys that when it's done. All right, there it is. I still have extra. I think there's extra just in case you mess up. Or in case you maybe want to put another layer right here. I'm thinking I might do that. But instead of a whole stretch across, I might just do like little sections here. Because this is 3M instead of bolt-ons, which I think is the holes. Which, which, which I think 
there are why these holes are right here. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But I think that's for bolt-ons if you want to do it. But I'm just going to 3M it because it's easier. <laughs> but because it is 3M, then I don't know if it's super secure. My original original one was bolt-ons, but they still fell off. It's because it's my butt. It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it. But let's get this done. Don't peel this off yet, okay? I'm going to show you how to peel this off once we apply it to the car. Let me add a little bit more just to be safe. And one thing I will recommend is maybe not to go completely to the edge because if you go completely to the edge when you mount it, it might show a tiny little gap. I'm not sure. That's just my opinion right now. So let's get started. Okay, check it. So I decided to add extra layers right here or extra strips to make it a little bit more adhesive. This top part, I ran out so I couldn't get more up here. But this, I wouldn't recommend it, but I do recommend it. The reason why I don't recommend it is because it's very tedious. What I decided to do was I had to get a tweezer to peel off the plastic, the red plastic. That shit was pretty hard. But if you have the time, then it's cool. For the long strip, I don't recommend taking it off yet. Just leave it a little bit like this, and I'll tell you why once we install it, or once we place it down. Same thing for the top part. But these little ones, do it right away because you won't be able to access it once you place the whole duck bill onto the trunk. So let's go back outside and get started. So I'm gonna leave it a little bit up. If you naturally let it sit, it's gonna drop down a little bit. But I think a little bit up looks nicer. It'll give me more aerodynamic up here. If it's a little bit low, then I don't know, but whatever. So, like I said, you don't wanna take this off yet. Now you're gonna peel from underneath and then put the pressure as you go. Let me show you guys that. Uh oh, <laughs> ran into a problem. Fuck. Let me see first. Okay, we good. So that shit broke off on this side, so I had to go back on this side and peel it off. So now that it's all the way at the end, just peel it off. Now I'm struggling here, shit. There you go. Now just apply the pressure and you're good. See how this is still lifted. Apply pressure. There you go. Let me put pressure all around it and I'll show you the final result. Okay, this is why I said don't put the 3M tape all the way to the edge because you might get a little bit showing like this. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like a little bit extra tape exposed it's pretty simple fix just push it in with like a um some kind of card like a driver license or some shit a bank credit card is fine don't use anything sharp you might scratch your paint let me see if i can fix that and then i'll show you what it looks like if i do fix it all right check it we done we are finally done let's get a peek damn she looks good it's kind of dark on this side but it's okay Let's get the top side where you can see the sun shining right on it. Beautiful. Mm. Look at that gloss. Now let's get a side angle. Ooh. Let's go back a little bit. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's get down low from the back. Oh, that booty thick. All right, I think that's it. I think we're done. Well, actually, let's go check the inside first and see if this blocks the camera at all. All right, one thing I do want to talk about real quick is that, what the hell? The battery is low on the key, whatever. I did get a short throw shifter. I installed it the other day. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link down below too. 
feels nice. I really like it. I'm going to do a review on this in about a couple of weeks after it breaks in and after I get a feel for it. But now let's check out the camera. Push down, back, back. Okay, it kind of blocks it a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Looks like a fish eye now. It used to be more like just a flat square, but now it looks like a fish eye. It's all good as long as you can be as long as you're safe with these little lines right here and then it's okay but who needs this shit you know back in the 90s us jdm people didn't even have this we just use this and our side mirrors right there let's go or we just turn around and look in the back all right that's it see you guys later stay tuned for more videos subscribe if you haven't peace